All right, just, um, I don't know, about 20 to 8. Just about to leave the Tiana Falls, Tiana Falls campsite. We're heading towards the northern campsite today. So, fairly uh, dusty night here last night. The wind came up, blew stuff around a bit. And it's pretty burnt, as you can see. Anyway, I've been given a bit of intel. There's a bit of a headwaters of a creek in about an hour. We might be able to find other than that. There's not a lot of water today for a while. So we'll see how it goes. So we're off. All right, first creek of the day. Fill the water bottles up here, but I'm not gonna have a swim in this one. Keep pushing on, Jay's kind of climbing up the hill there into the sun. So we've, um, we've been walking for, this is our third day, and I reckon 80% of the country's been burnt. This is probably the longest section of grassland we've had over the three days. I don't have to look far to see some burnt stuff though. John was just saying too, we haven't seen a snake yet. Which is a little bit... Well, actually, we did see one snake at camp the other night, but I couldn't get a video of it. But we haven't seen one on the track yet, which is a bit strange, considering we're, um, we're walking these grasslands on these creek lines sometimes. Mind you, we're about to head into a burn bit. So we just stopped for a bit of a break. It's... Um, I don't know, it must be a bit after 10 now, I guess. It's um, a little bit of a hot section, this it's pretty burnt. The only good thing today is uh, there's a bit of wind, I don't know if you can hear it through the remainder of the trees. But um, it's keeping the edge off the heat. So we're coming up on another 40 minutes, I guess, we'll be at the turn off to Walker Creek. We're not going down there today, we're heading towards the northern campsite. What we're thinking is we'll have a swim there for a cool down for a couple of hours. And then we maybe, if there's another creek I know of, might push on and camp out there. We'll see how we go. It's all, um, it's all been fairly easy today. Not, not much climbing. Looks like we're coming down on a dam section here. It'd be nice to be able to wet my, um, wet my hat a little bit, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, pretty nice walk and probably temperatures in the mid 20s, I guess, at the moment. It's all good. So we're just climbing up out of that little valley. And we're about to meet the link track to Walker Creek from memory. It's just up here somewhere. And there it is. Yeah, this is looking a bit grim. desiccated leaves on the tree blowing. And a bird. <laughs> so this is the official campsite. It's a pretty grim kind of spot to be honest with you. Found a bit of water but it's 
Not the best, but then I'll do the drink. There's no way I'll be swimming, huh? I'm just going for a bit of a walk around and see what else I can see. So after a bit of a scrub bash, a lot of a scrub bash, I found this uh, little pool, but I'm thinking this isn't any good. I think we're gonna have to keep walking to the, the there's another creek. It's a fair walk away though, it's about four k's I think. But much better than this for sitting in the heat of the day. I'll go and have a chat to Joe and see what he thinks. This is full on Burke and Will shit through sword grass here. Yeah. So this is the northern campground on the uh, tabletop track. It's um, seen better days, I think. It's a desolate, barren place. There's a bit of mozzie infested water down there. But it's not a place you really want to spend a few hours, believe me. It's a nice light in a kind of total devastation way. This is a bit, I remember walking up to Lindy years ago, and they were all alive back then, they were all silver. I suppose they're all alive now. They'll come back. But yeah, it was amazing. So we've been watching this fire. We've been kind of walking towards it most of the day. Um, we just, I think we're gonna slip around, slip around the side of it, but it's a bit of a worry. It's a fair sized fire by the look of it. And there's a little bit of wind around. So we've moved away from that fire a little bit, which is good news. We're dropping down into some creek lines now, which is even better news because we're both ready for a swim. It's been a warm, a warm walk today. We've been going for since about 7.30, it's now about 2. And we've only had one swim. So uh, we're due. What's this, eh? It's a real Jurassic Park to feel to it, eh? I think. So, we got to some water. <laughs> Joe's just attacking the local wildlife. Um, we've been for a swim. So I'm a bit distracted. Been for a swim. Look how clean my feet are. They're still covered in mud. Um, but we do have some news. We've made a decision. I don't know if you can see up in the sky, but all the blue sky has gone. And we've got smoke all above us, everywhere. So we're now thinking we're gonna walk out today rather than hang around. One thing, it's not pleasant breathing smoke. But second of all, we're not too sure whether it's a prescribed burn or a bushfire. And you can't get any mobile service out here or any kind of signal. So we've probably got an hour and a half, two hours to get out. Then we think we're just going to walk out and find somewhere to stay tonight. So we're heading now back around towards the Florence Falls link track, probably about half a K away, I guess. Not very far. It's been an interesting walk this one. It's been, um, haven't done it for probably 10, 12 years, I guess. Looks like um, Northern Territory Parks haven't spent a cent on it in those 10 or 12 years. 
It's pretty rough. Looks like they're pouring most of their money into prescribed burns. It's pretty well the whole track. I mean, you'll see from the video. Mind you, I didn't video the torch, all the torch sections. But um, I reckon 75% of the walk was kind of through fairly recently burnt, like in the last few months, ground. And even today, there's burns around. And we're not sure. It looks like there's cloud around now as well. It's a bit hard to tell what's what's smoke though. Definitely before it was getting pretty smoky, we were getting close to that fire. I think I even had a bit of soot land on us a couple of times. Um, anyway, all good. So we're heading back down to Florence Falls now. Um, hopefully I'll have a swim when we get down there. It's been a grim day for swim. I've only had two, I think two swims for the day. Uh, the privations of bushwalking. Um, but yeah, I think I'll have one down at Florence because it'd be rude not to, unless there's just too many people there. We'll see how we go. And then we got to find somewhere to stay tonight because we originally meant to be camping out there. Um, I'm not too keen on staying at Florence Falls again because it was like a scene from Mad Max the other night. Every, everyone had big campfires going. An old little valley where the old four-wheel drive campsite was filled with smoke. So it walks pretty well over. We're just dropping down to a little bit Shady Creek on the link track now. Oh. You can hear the creak if you can maybe over my groaning knees. <clears throat> Steep little track this one. So the walk's coming to its end. We've just had a, a swim at the plunge pool. Got my um, hiking shoes on now. We're, um, hello. We're heading it back to the car now. Hopefully it's still there. Okay, that's the tabletop over and done with. We, um, Today was a fairly end up being a long day. We did 22.5 k's. Um, Cause we abandoned that last campsite, it was shit. And there was a fire, fire going. We decided we just finished the walk today, find somewhere to stay tonight. So we've arrived at the, uh, back at the, at the ute. And we're gonna go and find somewhere to stay. All right, I'll, um, I'll catch up with you soon.